Hi folks, I'm back again with another Clamo's how-to. This time this is an update on a previous how-to. <coughs> this is regarding DVD Fab 9 series. If you remember in the uh, uh, past how-to, in the uh, in the options, I uh, I showed you that uh, that for some weird reason CUDA was not uh, available. It says that it's not supported. Well, I figured out what the deal is with this. It seems as though NVIDIA has changed the CUDA drivers for the uh, newer driver reversions. <coughs> Well, unfortunately, because they changed it, uh, some of the old software does not work with the new CUDA drivers. And I have no idea why in the world they uh, didn't include a uh, option to install the previous uh, uh, CUDA drivers. But... <coughs> There is a uh, there is a workaround. The only problem is is that uh, well, there's actually two workarounds. The problem is is that uh, the one workaround that works for some programs does not work with uh, this program and uh, another program as well. Uh, the t the the trick to um, using the uh, uh, current display drivers with uh, previous CUDA drivers for programs such as um, uh, Vegas Pro, you have to in, you have to uh, go into uh, the um, uh, I can't even remember what folders they are right off the bat, but uh, these are the uh, the original CUDA uh, drivers that work for older software and these uh, these drivers are the uh, uh, these drivers are only available in uh, the uh, 33788 NVIDIA display drivers those are the last ones that they created that uh, support the old CUDA but uh, the the trick was is to uh, copy and paste these to overwrite the uh, the new CUDA drivers and if uh, if I remember correctly which I'm probably wrong on that uh, let's see here you would be uh, you need to go into Windows folder and I think that you had to put uh, the drivers into here and into here and maybe into here but I'm not sure there's a uh, there's instructions on the web for it if I um, if I find them I'll post them in the link to uh, or I'll, uh, I'll, I'll post a link to them in the description on this uh, video but uh, doing doing the uh, copy and replacing the uh, the new CUDA drivers with the previous ones, and I believe that that only I think it only works in safe mode when you do that. Uh, it will uh, allow you to use CUDA on uh, certain programs that way with up-to-date drivers. But the con the con with that, like I uh, stated uh, a moment ago is that uh, programs like this it doesn't work on as uh, you saw in the uh, the options well in order to fix this issue with uh, DVD fab go ahead and close this here uh, you have to uh, in you have to use the uh, this previous display driver unfortunately so if you are planning on using DVD fab a lot with CUDA acceleration um, you're going to wind up having to have a, um, a, a separate hard drive to 
install this on specifically for that uh, purpose uh, for the use of uh, CUDA acceleration for the video encoding. Now I'll uh, I'll be back in a minute after I uh, uninstall the current driver and I will be uh, installing this driver to show you what I'm talking about. And we're back. Uh, now that I have that appropriate driver installed, I'm going to go ahead and load up the uh, a newer version of DVD Fab to show you what happens. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the common settings and the codec settings. As you can see now, CUDA is selectable. Also, you want to make sure that you do not have this checked because if you check it, it grays the stuff out, so that means it's disabled. Uh, over here on this, I'm not sure if, uh, if this was working or not, because uh, apparently I don't have a CPU that uh, utilizes this feature, because when I had it checked, it didn't seem to do anything, and when I unchecked it, it didn't seem to do anything. But uh, anyways, let me go ahead and click OK, and I will load up a movie. And I click on Advanced Settings and customize the file output size because CUDA does not support low bit rates. I mean, it, it does, but uh, it looks like crap when you uh, use lower bit rates. And click on the Start button. I was doing a lot of testing, so go ahead and replace the files again. And for some reason, uh, this uh, uh, version of DVD Fab uh, seems like the, the, that the uh, 9 series and higher uh, does not properly utilize CUDA, because sometimes this is low, sometimes this is high. But uh, I honestly, I do not recommend uh, version 9 plus. If you let this sit for a while, it might uh, the numbers might change. But it seems like every time you load this pro or run this program with uh, CUDA acceleration, it uh, seems random every time it uh, uses the driver. See, right now I'm thinking it's using like uh, somewhere in between 1 and 10% of the driver, and that's just not acceptable. That's why, I've, why I don't like uh, this reversion. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out and wait for it to stop. Click on the finish, click on the close, exit the program. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to load up the older version, version 8. This one I like a lot better. Okay, now go ahead and load it in. I don't like subtitles unless they're uh, necessary. Let's go into this. I don't like cropping and I prefer full side-by-sides. Go into Edit, Fixed File Size, jump it up, and click on the Start. As you already can tell, it's uh, got a serious improvement with the, uh, the CUDA driver. It, it seems to be uh, about uh, about as random as the, uh, the other one, but it's not as bad because you can tell that on the other one it had over two hour encode time and this one is uh, right around an hour and 30 minutes encode time. The, uh, the encoding frame per second is much higher than on the other one. Plus, who knows if even these numbers are really even 100% accurate. 
But uh, there you go. This is uh, how you reestablish CUDA for uh, DVD fam. And apparently the uh, the older drivers work properly on the older version of DVD fab because I was having issues with uh, this the, this for version on current display drivers. It kept on giving me an error code that uh, not even the company's website would tell me what the problem is. So apparently it's a driver issue. The other thing that I was mentioning regarding uh, drivers um, using current drivers with the older CUDA with the uh, the drag or not the drag and drop but the copy and pasting over the newer drivers with the older CUDA drivers um, that doesn't work with this program but uh, it uh, it works with uh, others I will be uh, putting links into the description for where you can find that information. I've already tried and attempted that and it does work. I was able to use it with the uh, Vegas Pro but uh, it uh, wasn't as fast as it used to be. So I'm thinking that uh, it uh, it's like a hit or miss when you do that. But uh, I can assure you that uh, doing that little trick will not work in DVD Fab. I've already tried it. The other thing is, is that um, NVIDIA is seriously slacking on the driver development, having issues with CUDA and uh, 3D Vision. And I just recently found out after testing all this stuff that uh, NVIDIA's got the uh, driver website all messed up. Not all the supported drivers for your graphics card will be listed under the graphics card. Uh, uh, under the um, whenever you go through the drop down menus and select all your stuff that you need down below where all you, where you see all your drivers listed they're not all listed there in order to find uh, other previous display drivers for testing purposes I had to select older cards now why on earth NVIDIA chose to do that is beyond me but uh, that that is very unprofessional in my opinion so anyways, um, now that uh, I've uh, shown you this, I'm going to uh, start working on a, another video. Maybe this week I'll get it, or the, not, maybe I'll get it done for next week upload, I don't know. Uh, I almost didn't get this uh, done and upload it for the week, like I said I was going to. But anyways, um, uh, comment uh, if you uh, want want some more information. Um, I'll be uh, happy to answer it if I can answer it. Uh, thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you don't. Subscribe if you like uh, my videos, and if you don't, don't subscribe. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.